Hey guys, welcome to the second part of my complete guide to customizing your LPS. Um, in this one I'm going to be telling you about how to prepare your LPS for customization. So it's going to include prepping and some tips about um, how to do head swaps. So you're going to be getting tips on all of those and I hope this tutorial will help you when you start customizing your LPS. So I'm now going to show you how to do head swaps for all the different LPS that there are. Um, as you can see, this one was the result of a head swap. This is an iguana body that looks like this, and a kangaroo head looks like this. So I'm just going to show you how to do that first. And after that, I'm also going to show you how to combine a G2 head with a G3 body, um, such as with this one. Um, you can see that this is from a G2 owl and this is a G3 lion body. So that's a little bit tricky. I'm not going to show you exactly how to do that because I don't want to ruin any of my G2 LPS because I'm currently not going to do a head swap for that for any custom. So I'm just going to tell you how it's done and you can figure it out from there. G3 LPS such as this one uh, are obviously very easy to customize. You just rip the head off from the body and you just you just changed it to whatever head and body you want to use. So you don't have to see a tutorial about that. And the same thing goes for the G4 LPS, the ones that are in stores right now. So I'm just going to show you the G2 and the G2 and G3 head swap, how to do those. So you might have already seen some tutorials how to swap uh, to GT LPS's heads and bodies. Um, if you've seen those, they use usually just hair dryers. I also use those, so it's nothing new. Um, there are several tutorials of this already, but since so many people keep asking me, I'm just going to show you how I do it. What you have to know about head swaps is that it can be quite tricky to get the head back into the body. So be aware of that. Um, you might need the help of an adult. Sometimes you can't even attach the head to a body. Uh, there's really no way to tell before you actually try it. Uh, in those cases, I would just recommend that you sculpt something around the neck, which uh, led, just lodges the head to the body. Um, not like this one. This one is just normal. But, uh, <laughs> I've done that with several customs. Um, you can't, you know, tilt the head anymore, but that's what you have to do if you want to get that head swap done sometimes. But with this one, it should work because I've already done it, so... Let's see, um, what you're going to need is a hairdryer and a small set of pliers. Um, obviously you can see that the head is attached here by this little um, wibbly wobbly thingamajig that goes into the neck. So you're going to want to get rid of that. And the way to get it off is to just heat up the LPS's neck and then just rip it off. So. I'm going to show that. I'm not going to do a voiceover while I'm doing it because I'm going to just mute the blow dryer. It's going to sound really loud and annoying, so I um, hope you don't mind. Let's get freckles out of the way so that it doesn't get ruined accidentally. <laughs> okay. There we go! Off with the head. Um, <laughs> yeah, I really hope I didn't ruin anything here because that was very violent. Um, I actually think this might be a replica LPS, so the thing is a little bit different, but let's hope that that doesn't matter. Okay, next one. Okay! Whew. There we go. Uh, now you have a head and a body and this is where the hard part starts. What you're gonna want to do is you get, take the pliers and just put it into the hole like this. And you want to heat it up a little bit so that the plastic becomes a little bit soft. And this is gonna help you put the new head into it because you're gonna just put the pliers in. When the neck feels warm you're just gonna open the pliers slightly and just rotate it so that the hole becomes a little bit bigger so it might be easier to put in the new neck. Let's hope it works. <laughs> nope. This is a common problem um, that the little 
nothing in the head goes into the head and that's a problem because you're gonna want to get this thicker part into the head um, I mean into the body not not into the head so you might have to use your pliers for that or try to find something else that you can lodge in between um, I have my sculpting tool here so I'm gonna just try sorry if this seems confusing head swaps are never easy so uh, let's just hope that it goes Fiftieth try. <laughs> As I said, always have an adult help you if you don't know what you're doing. And with enough force, I think that he managed to get it somehow to work. So, hallelujah! There we have it. Very easy way to do head swaps. That was sarcasm, by the way. It's not easy and it's not fun. Um, with other base figures, it's sometimes easier, but with this particular one, it apparently was a huge pain in the butt. If you want to do a head swap between a G2 head and a G3 body, um, I'm just gonna show you how to do it. Okay, here's a very random example how you can do a head swap between a G2 head and a G3 body. So what you want to do is you want to get this thing out of the neck completely, including this little inner ring. Um, what you could do is just heat up your LPS uh, and then try to take a pair of pliers and just rip it out forcefully. Um, what you also could do is just take a really thin knife and try to cut here around the edges somehow and just try to get it out that way. Uh, and then when you have it out you basically have a big hole and that hole magically fits onto this uh, G3 body's little head blob thing that it has. Uh, as I said, I'm not going to show you because, uh, to be honest, this would look like a really, really ugly and horrible custom, so let's not do that. Um, I might do one later if I come up with some sort of cool design for that, but not for now. Hope you enjoyed this really horrible tutorial on how to swap heads. As I said, I'm really terrible at it and I'm very thankful that my fiancé has some sort of magic ability to make the heads stick onto the body. Yeah. So next up I'm gonna just show you how you can remove paint from your LPS. Uh, that's by prepping it. I have filmed something outside of my house because that's where I prep because it smells really bad with the acetone so don't mind that, it's a bit weird. Also I use really gross gloves on my hands so I apologize in advance. Okay. When I prep I use these protective gloves because um, my skin is very sensitive so please, I'm sorry that they're gross but you know very sorry for that. Anyway, um, I use nail polish remover to prep my customs and this is how I do it. it's done. Ta -da. So once you're done prepping, uh, remember to wash your LPS uh, with water, maybe soap, uh, because otherwise the at least nail polish removers can leave a sort of weird oily layer on your LPS and that will make it harder for you to paint it. Um, actually paint adheres much better to surfaces that have been cleaned and the same goes for the sculpting material so um, it's a smart idea to just wash your LPS once you're done prepping it. Um, another thing, if you're just starting out, uh, for example, if I were to prep this one, um, you might want to leave the eyes uh, because sometimes they can be hard to paint. So you could then just take, like with a Q-tip, very carefully, you know, remove the nose and the eyelashes and whatever. You don't have to use the cotton swabs that I do. Um, but yeah, that's it about prepping. So that was my second part of your complete guide to customizing LPS. I uh, hope this helped you with your head swaps, even though it was kind of weird. Remember, you can always ask your parents for help. Sometimes you just need brute force. Um, and the prepping, as I might have mentioned, um, you don't have to use nail polish remover. Anything with acetone works just fine. Also, pure acetone works fine. Just be careful when you're handling those sort of chemicals. You might not want to use them without talking to your parents about it first. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped. And see you again soon. Bye!